Hey guys, it's Joe, and in this video I'm going to be demonstrating how to use the stock overdrive plugin in Logic. This is a really cool plugin, it's super easy to use and, and in my opinion quite underrated, and I'm just going to be demonstrating how to use it on a quick baseline I've recorded in, just running it through this bass amp sim in Logic as well, so this is what it sounds like normally. So quite a standard tone, still quite deep but still quite powerful, and we're just going to put a bit of overdrive on it. So to get that up, we're just going to go into our plugins, down to distortion and overdrive. So this is what the default setting comes up as. So let's just have a listen to what it sounds like on our bass now. Okay, so off the bat, in my opinion, it's actually made it sound worse. The overdrive is kind of doing the opposite of what I want. It's just making it sound all muddy, opposed to giving it a nice, crisp, distorted tone. Um, so we're going to play around with the settings to see what we can do. So we've got three main settings here as well as the level compensation. And the level compensation is just used to compensate for the loudness created by the overdrive. I tend to just leave it off, I don't really use it. I just focus on these three. So we've got the drive which is how much overdrive we're actually giving our signal. How It's essentially how distorted it will become. We've got the output which is the overall output that we're going to be getting. I tend to just drop that down to about minus 12 off the bat just for mixing purposes and then we've got the tone which is also demonstrated or illustrated sorry by this blue line here and it works the same as a high cut filter or a low pass filter um, because we're taking out all that high end above 980 hertz at the moment so when I move it around you can see it looks like how it would on our channel EQ so again I'm just going to hit play I'm going to move these around to demonstrate how to actually get a good tone out of this so just going to give it some drive. So by pushing the drive we're actually getting more of the tone that I'm after. It's actually getting those nice harmonics in there, it's not just rubbish distorted low end. And now we can use the tone to also complement this. So we can either bring in some more high end, or less. So it completely depends on what you want. I find that if we push the drive too high, it can become a little much. You're somewhat losing that tone that you had to begin with, which in my opinion kind of defeats the purpose. Unless that's what you're after, then that's fine. But for this, I'll probably just drop it back down to about 19 or so. And then you can start to mess around with it a bit more precisely. So that's pretty much all there is to it. It's a really solid plugin, and as I said, it's quite underrated. You can use it on quite a lot of things, so bass, guitars, you can even use it on some drums if you want, like snares and kicks, or even overheads and cymbals if you want to get a bit weird, uh, and any synths and pads and stuff that you have going on. You can experiment quite easily with it. So I hope you found this video useful, and if you have any questions, please leave a comment or contact me via my website. Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers.